is strategizing this morning. Ashish, hi, over to you for the Nifty. What's your call as well as in terms of specific stocks? Hi, good morning. Uh, see, like we have been discussing over, uh, I think, more than a week now, uh, we have still not seen a close about that 12,000 mark. So Nifty attempted roughly yesterday as well to go above it. Again, there was some profit booking. It came down by 50 points. It is attempting today as well to go and close about it. It is going to be very crucial. So if we manage to close about 12,020, 12,030 mark, then this rally can extend further. What is also uh, very interesting is the range of the entire movement is reducing. So over the past, we have seen an average movement or average true range of the market was around 150, 160 points. So that was the movement we were seeing in the past. But now the range has been reducing towards 70, 80, 90 points movement, which is a good sign. But nevertheless, we are yet to see a strong close about that 12,000. So in this uh, situation, the best trade is to use dips as a buying opportunity. I would use any movement towards 11,920, 11,950 as a buying opportunity and probably targeting around 12,020, 12,030 levels. So that is a small trade that one can look forward on Nifty. Uh, as far as stock specific action has continued, the first stock on the buy side is going to be Havels. Uh, we can clearly see a very strong breakout from a consolidation phase. Uh, the target of this consolidation is uh, near the levels of 741. So one can create long positions in Havels keeping a stop loss of 685 on the downside. Uh, the next stock on the buy side is going to be Max Financial. As we speak, the stock has continued to move higher very sharply. So I would suggest use dips as a buying opportunity. Any dips towards the level of 455 can be used as a buying opportunity, keeping a stop loss of 438 on the downside and expecting a target of 474 or probably higher. And the final call is on the short side is Glenmark. Uh, we can clearly see that Glenmark has been moving in a downtrend for quite some time. There has been some stability returning to the pharma space, but Glenmark has failed to show any kind of a positive attempt. So even uh, in yesterday's and today's session, it has formed a very strong bearish candle. I think the downtrend will continue from here at least towards the target level of 276, and one can maintain a stop loss of 299.70 on the upside. Okay, uh, thanks very much. Uh, appreciate you joining.